Are we alone in the universe? That is a big question. Do you want to explore that, even look at the history of that question? Well, you are going to get your chance right here in Tampa Bay. In fact, with more to talk about ancient aliens live, Giorgio Socorus. Okay, Giorgio is with us now talking all things aliens. It's good to see you again. How are you? Good. Thank you very much. And I hope everyone in Tampa is doing okay. And I send you guys love, strength, and resolve and courage. You know what? I really appreciate that. I think, you know, so many of us are looking for different things to distract us. And I feel like it's fair to say one thing that can distract our brain space is thinking about aliens. You've given a lot of brain space to aliens over the years, Giorgio. Talk about ancient aliens live and what you are able to bring to people around the country. So Ancient Aliens Live is a 90-minute experiential add-on to the popular show Ancient Aliens, where we crisscross the country and we have an evening show with some of your favorite contributors you know, showing slides and clips about your most favorite topics on ancient aliens. And on this particular tour, we'll have Nick Pope with us, uh, William Henry and Jason Martell and myself. And it's a night out, it's a fun night out on the town for the whole family, all your friends, come on down. And I promise you, we're gonna have a cosmic time. Cosmic, I love the way you put that, but you know, diving in, when I think of like aliens of the past, my mind goes to the pyramids and, and the fact that, you know, you have kind of grouped in, you know, mythology with being able to talk about the history and aliens. This is something that even going back in the books, have you learned that people have always had questions about aliens, no matter how far back in time we go? So this is a very interesting question because the, the answer to that is a resounding yes, because even the ancient Greeks spoke about the so-called plurality of worlds, meaning that they understood or at least philosophized about the idea that we may not be alone in the universe. And so this is an age old question. You know, where do we come from? Why are we here? And above all, where are we going? And so, you know, I think this, uh, the show Ancient Aliens addresses many of these questions and um, also gives some potential answers. And so I, I want, want to thank the audience for tuning in because we're now 15 years in and we're still going strong. That would have never happened without the audience. Fair to say that audience members, you can have those who believe we are not alone, but then even the biggest of skeptics also probably make great audience members. Is that a fair statement? Oh, absolutely, because the skeptics keep me and my colleagues on my toes. And, you know, oftentimes the skeptics make arguments that are completely opposite of what we're proposing. You know, I per personally, just so you can hear from me, I've never said that aliens built the pyramids. The meme said that, but never, um, I never said that myself. What we did say is, and this is what the ancient Egyptians said, that the knowledge for building the pyramids was imparted to our Egyptian ancestors by the so-called gods or the guardians of the sky. And our interpretation is that that was not a piece of fantasy or an invention, but that those guardians of the sky might have actually existed in physical form and they were visiting extraterrestrials. So that's all we've been saying. Of course, it was humans who built the pyramids, but under the tutelage, so to speak, of visiting extraterrestrials. They were our first teachers. Interesting. Okay, so we're sharing where people can go and get tickets, of course, October 20th. Perfect conversation for the spooky season, too, just to get everybody thinking. In closing, seconds left. Giorgio, when people ask, are we alone? What do you say? We are absolutely not alone. The universe is too large for us to be the only intelligent life out there. There we go. Good one to end on. Good to see you again. Take care and safe travels. Thank you, Natalie. Thanks for having me on. Appreciate it.